kids! Oh. It's Zorro! Yes, it is, Carlos. This mission is really and truly special. Sergeant Garcia, I very clearly remember the last three special missions. And a few meals oh. that you never paid me for. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So then... Sergeant? Ah, but this time, it's a secret hmm. special mission. And since it's a secret, you haven't seen me. I'm not even here. Oh, really? I have to join the captain. He's on his way back from Monterey with cannons to chase the Chumash off some land they're occupying. No! Cannons? Oh, yes. Actually, just two cannons, you see. But, uh, that's a secret. <laughs> oh, come on, Carlos. You can't let a brave Lancer from His Majesty's army go hungry, huh? <laughs> yes, I huh? can. Sergeant, you will leave here hungry. Now pay for the drink you finished in secret. No, I'll have plenty of money soon, because I'm going to capture that Zorro. Ah, uh, 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 Zorro! What? What's the matter, Dinah? Are you worried? Is a storm coming? I can sense something's coming our way. <laughs> no, can't be a storm. It's too sunny for a storm. Tina, can I go for a swim? Sure you can. Some respect, young cub. Hidalgo paint a picture. I'm painting it for you, Doña Maria, but it pales in comparison to the world's finest art, your cooking. Thank you, Diego. <laughs> Diego. Ines, what's going on? Bernardo heard Sergeant Garcia say Captain Monasterio went to Monterey to bring back cannons. What's he planning on doing? Bomb the Chumash village. Father. You should have told us that your guests were already here. Don Luis, Carmen, at last! The delicious smells from the kitchen have been hours of pure torture. Diego, did you paint this landscape? Yes, I did. Do you think it shows talent? I could have got into the Academy of Noble Arts. Hmm, <laughs> a painter in the family. We might as well have a flamenco dancer. <laughs> ole, ole! <laughs> Well, Father Diego's only teasing. It's just a pastime. Oh, Carmen! A little present from the three of us. Oh, Ines, it's magnificent. I had it sent from Spain. How sweet of you. I am so pleased. Really, thank you. I love it.
legend. I can't put up with these flies. Oh, I'm hungry. Starving. It's cruel to make us head out on empty stomachs. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> only shooing, oh, only shooing a fly, Captain. He, he's attacked Gonzalez. Silence, Garcia. You're up next for cannon duty. You too, Corporal. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's conduct that test to see if our artillery can wipe out the Chumash village. The cannons from Monterey. Our army has become a bunch of marauding brigands. If all of us friends and rancheros pull together, uh. we can take their cannons. Hmm? Father, I beg you, be careful. You're right about that Captain Monasterio, but this is too dangerous. Oh, well, if I were Don Diego de la Vega, I'd make those awful tyrants back down. Yes, I'd rush in and destroy their cannons. Ines, you know I'm against any form of violence. I generally am too, Diego, but he's right in this case. I beg you, Father, please don't venture into such a risky plan. We're not no. afraid of those miserable lancers, nor of that fool Monasterio. Oh, my back. Oh, <gasps> your old wound, Father? I'm fine, darling. It's nothing. <laughs> they will not prevail. <gasps> Wow, impressive. <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me, Doña Maria, but it's time to teach that Captain Monasterio a lesson or two. Perfect spot. Attention! At my command! First cannon! Fire! Second cannon! Fire! Silence, you fools! Let me savor the moment. <laughs> I can't wait to see the damage we'll inflict on that filthy Indian village. Diego, you haven't changed your mind? It's far too dangerous, Father. We're powerless against cannon fire. Please, don't go, Father. Take my scarf, Father. It'll bring you good luck. My dear, sweet little Carmen. Hurry home, and don't worry. Let's get going. Hmm. Come on, quick! <laughs> oh! Hmm. You hear that noise? Huh? Uh, it sounds horrible. Shh, shh. Listen, there it goes again. That? Well, now, Corporal, that's my belly growling. My belly and I are both starving. Silence. He'll hear you. Who will? Zora. Huh? I'll bet you he's nearby. Wah. Shh. Huh. They've all gone mad now, attacking the Lancers at their age. And Diego, letting his father set out alone. Carmen, hurry back home. Oh, this is pure folly. I'll go back now and rescue them all. <laughs> Grilled meats. Oh, a heap of frijoles. Beans. Gonzalez. Sergeant Gonzalez. Not <laughs> yeah, my head! Oh. <laughs> Silence! Smothered in thick red chili sauce.
Sweet Ines, what brings you here at this hour, dear? An ill wind, I'm afraid, Grandmother. Oh. Captain! Lancers! We've slowed them down. Let's retreat. Soldiers, attack formation. Go get those men. <laughs> help! Oh, help! Oh. Huh? Are you? I think you're some sort of Zorro. Hey. <laughs> what? No, because I am Zorro. Now, now, it's dangerous playing with a firearm, Captain. You might get hurt. You need an army now, my friend? I don't know who these horsemen are, but they did good prep work. <laughs> On guard, oh. Captain! Uh, you've lost your sword? How terribly sad, sir. Uh, uh, hold on, Captain! Uh, 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 oh, uh. Idiot! Cretan! Nincompoop! <laughs> Here I am, Captain! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> Take all the time you need. Lovely night, isn't it? Oh, a shooting star! <laughs> <laughs> Zoro, come back! Get him! Get him! Get him! Zoro, surrender! Yeah. Sure thing, Sergeant. <laughs> there he is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sergeant Garcia, pincer formation. Catch him! Yeah. Corporal, over here! Rally the men still by the cannons! Uh, you two, uh, over there, while me and the others go to the other side. Yes, yes Sergeant! Sergeant. Uh, pincer formation. Zorro! Zorro! Oh, good. He's run away, huh? <laughs> now we can go back to the others now. I want that man arrested! Catch him! Sure, Captain. I didn't have the time to get a good look. No, oh. no, I'm still here. You shouldn't have set out to get these cannons in Monterey, Captain. You'll be sorry you did. Hmm. Your goose is cooked. Ah! Sergeant, follow him! Oh, and don't let him get away this time! Artillery, aim your cannons at that outlaw! Yes, sir! Attention! Uh, prepare to fire! Attack! To the right! To the right! <laughs> this way, guys! Speed up! To the left! To the left! <laughs> Tornado, ready? Turn the cannons and fire at the fast match! If I were you, I'd take cover! Fire! <laughs> Buenos noches, Capitan! Yeah. Uh -huh. Put out that fire! She's going to blow! Uh -oh. Hold back the carriages! I said, hold them back, you ninja yes, Captain! <laughs> Gonzalez! Ah! Oh. Shut up, you ninny. Uh, you. We mustn't linger here, senorita. I recognized your father in the skirmish. He got away, but he dropped this as he rode off. <gasps> and the others? The rancheros? Don Alejandro? They're all fine. I can't say the same for Captain Monasterio and his cannons. Come, I'll keep you company. This area is infested with banditos. <laughs> You're safe now. Adios! <laughs> <laughs>
Who are you? Shh. You're better off not knowing. A smart fox stays in his hiding place, especially by day. I'm rather fond of foxes. <laughs> <laughs> you must have heard a thousand times you're ravishing. <gasps> we'll meet again sometime soon. I hope so. <gasps> Parting is such sweet sorrow, senorita. <laughs> Adios! Ready, Captain. On guard! Hey! Fancy one last bounce, Captain. It's raining swords, Excellency! Captain, what is the meaning of all this? This was a warm-up. You scored quite well, by the way. Do not patronize me. Captain, you lasted eight and a half minutes against, well... Me. Ahem! Apologies. Don Esteban Parasol, Viceroy of California. Allow me to introduce the legendary fencing master of Monterey. Maestro Antonio Ramirez de la Poterna. <laughs> Don Diego de la Vega. Very impressed. And this is my friend Bernardo. <clears throat> Given our recent difficulties, I invited the maestro to Los Angeles. <laughs> to train the men in new techniques to be Sergeant. used against Zorro, of course. He has humiliated your men. <clears throat> yes. And thwarted every single one of your plans to ensnare him. Oh, that bandit was just very lucky, that's all. And bested you in each and every sword fight, did he not? And your point is? Uh, my point? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Aha! I, too, could benefit from Maestro Ramirez's instruction. <laughs> so could you, Don Diego. You must be taught so you can face him! And everyone we trust, soldiers and rancheros, should also be made invincible! And what if that Zorro attacked the De La Vega Hacienda? Or another Hacienda? Or the palace? <laughs> that would be terrible, Viceroy. But it shall not happen. The only problem is, I'm against using violence. It ruins spiritual harmony. Oh? <laughs> Why don't you say that to Zorro? Just enjoy it. Consider it <laughs> exercise. Exercise? Under the scorching sun? In this dust and sand? <laughs> Come on, Don Diego. We have a deal. <sighs> a bit of exercise will do us no harm. See you tomorrow for our lesson. <laughs> yes, this pretentious fencing master deserves to be taught a lesson. Huh? I cannot risk being unmasked, so I shall show them the extent of my talent. <laughs> Pathetic. Worse than pathetic. Ah, very well now. You, soldier, are sure of winning against my grandmother. Frankly, Captain, you haven't given me much to work with. And still, you've yet to see the worst. Oh, no, 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 no! Who taught you to use a sword? My grandmother. Your grandmother, Sergeant? Where? In her kitchen? Oh, in her kitchen, too. B mm. <laughs> but... Uh, Silence, oh. Sergeant! We've not come here to hear about your family life. This Zorro must know every attack, every thrust taught by your very, oh. very basic, <laughs> arcane, oh. simplistic oh. repertoire. Oh. In short, <laughs> Bad. Totally bad. Worse than bad. Badissimo. Pathetic. Appalling. So, we must teach you a new move. A secret thrust of my own invention that he cannot know. The Maestro's Thrust. On guard! Attack, Sergeant. 
But uh, why me? Because you're a sergeant, sergeant. Hmm, sir. Huh? If the sergeant is not up to the task, I am at your disposal. What? You? A corporal? And who said I'm not up to the task? Uh, you did. Oh, that. That was a, a strategy. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. oh, that, Sergeant, is your new secret thrust against Zoro. Sidestep his attack, switch hands, slice oh. down, slice oh. up, disarm, then uh. in for the finish. <laughs> Move, uh, Sergeant. Oh. We haven't got all day. Yes, Captain. We'll try it at half speed. Oh. Hunger! Uh. Now switch! Got it! Oops! <laughs> oh. Oh, well, keep working on it. With some effort, you should nail it down. Before the 20th century. At least, I hope so. You ah. better master Maestro Ramirez's instruction immediately. Uh, yes, Captain. Or you will find yourself back on laundry duty. Maestro! Maestro! On guard! <laughs> oh, I, I did it! <laughs> Captain! Maestro! Did you see? Uh, did you see I... <laughs> oh, at least you saw me, right, Gonzalez? I saw nothing. Huh? Nothing at all, Sergeant. All right, gentlemen. Well, Maestro, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Proceed. <laughs> Don Diego, that is a ceremonial sword. Ah, it is indeed. It was a gift from my father, Don Alejandro de la Vega. And it is completely inappropriate for sparring. Really? But it's so pretty. This is a real work of art. You should hang it up on some huh? wall. Let's just find you something a little bit more, um, uh, suitable. Excellency, you say such frightening things. Do we really have to fight? So far, I'm not very impressed. I'll go easy on him. But Maestro, he'd take that as disrespect. No, you must treat him as if he were Zorro himself. As I would Zorro, but your Don Diego might not survive such an encounter. Hmm. I can live with that. No, this one isn't even shiny. Now, Don Diego, before I begin my instruction, I must assess your skill. So, raise your blade and prepare. Uh, uh is it supposed to be this heavy? On guard! Whoa! <laughs> ha! Is this uh, quite necessary? It is, Don Diego. It's high time you improved your skills with the soul. These lessons have lost all entertainment value. I believe it is now time for me to take my leave. Oh? But, Don Diego, don't you want to improve your skills? What if Zoro attacks? Come on, you're nearly there. One can only hope that Zoro has the good taste to attack with a ceremonial sword, and then we may both stand there admiring our blades with no damage done. <laughs> Completely incompetent. Ready for your uh... lesson, Excellency? Me? Oh, uh, well, of course. <laughs> oh! Huh? But my lumbago is acting up today. Uh, uh, perhaps we could postpone my lesson? As you wish. By that time, perhaps De La Vega will be ready for lesson number two. When pigs fly. No, maestro. I'm afraid you've scared our good friend Don Diego away. What a pity. Hmm. Yes, such a good friend who gives up so easily. Yes, Captain. A friend who has just returned from Spain. And a very elegant caballero who honors us. Elegant? Indeed. Have you seen the way Senorita Carmen looks at him? <laughs> I bet you wish she looked at you that way. If the Senorita saw how he handled a blade, she wouldn't give him a second huh? glance. I must admit, poor Don Diego wouldn't last long in one of our famous competitions. <laughs> What a brilliant idea, sire! Is it? Absolutely. Zoro won't be able to resist showing up, too. And then, gentlemen, I know how to eliminate Zoro. No, I do. 
I did get the idea after all. Brilliant. Oh, that sums it up perfectly. You know what, Captain? <laughs> I surprise myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Monasterio has organized a competition. A great fencing competition. Mm. Uh, uh, tomorrow at noon, in honor of Maestro Ramirez, the winner will receive as a trophy a beautiful, oh. solid gold medal. Oh, thank you, Doña Maria. Uh, what a wonderful mm. cook you are. What a wonderful wife you would uh. make. Hmm? A soldier spends hours with his backside on his horse just to fulfill his duty without anything to eat. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. It sounds frightful. Frightful? Do you think so? Uh, shapely, yes. Impressive, yes. But frightful. Not your backside, Sergeant. The contest. It's scheduled for noon, but I never rise before two. But you have to take part in it. For the De La Vega's honor. That's just inhuman. <sighs> if the son will not compete, then the father should. Uh, father, no. It's too dangerous. But, Don Alejandro, would you worry your daughter by taking such a risk? I assure you, my father would do nothing... I'm in! But, Father, you are too old for that kind of thing. Old? Me? <laughs> I'm still in my prime! Hmm. Fine, I will compete. Regretfully, but since it has to be done, I will compete uh. in our father's stead. And I will make sure no harm comes to Don Luis. Mmm! Adios! Senores, on guard! Just one peso. Do you want to put me out of business? The house doesn't do credit. Buy a favor. A favor to give your beloved. I also have some authentic lucky charms. The winner will take home the Medal of Honor, granted me by His Majesty, our good King of Spain, in person. A treasure made out of real, solid gold. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Diego, don't you have someone special you'd like to give a favor to? Senoritas. It was impossible for me to choose between the radiance of two bright suns. There is no need, Father. The captain has already seen to it. Diego! Huh? Ugh. Don't overdo huh? it. She's my friend. But you do know this is to protect her. <clears throat> Get out! I'll be honored to escort you, senorita. How sweet of you. And now, mm. Senor Don Diego de la Vega against Corporal Ignacio Gonzalez. Gentlemen, on guard! Diego, raise your sword! You're supposed to preserve the honor of the de la Vegas, not sully it. Father, I can't hold my sword and use my fan at the same time. <laughs> Diego, we've not gathered here to fan ourselves. Could Bernardo possibly do it then? I feel so hot. <laughs> if he could just stand behind me like that. Diego, look out! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Diego, are you all right? Of course I'm not all right. This shirt is made of silk. Now it's stained, probably damaged beyond repair. Perhaps my Spanish soap uh, Quick, take me home, Bernardo. Not exactly a champion with the blade, <laughs> is he, senorita? Mm. Mm. The De La Vega's honor deserves far better than that. I shall take part in this competition. Father, no! Well, my friends, that's one objective reached. You made a fool of your rival in front of the girl. But there's still no sign of Zorro. <laughs> Trust me, he'll be here. Quick, Bernardo. We mustn't keep our friends waiting. They are so eager to catch Zorro. <laughs> A 
Let's go, Tornado. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bravo, my friend. Bravo. <laughs> and our semi-finalists are... Captain Monasterio and Don Luis Villalonga. So, enjoying yourself, Don Luis? I am, Captain. In fact, I may just win the day. And our famous Maestro's Medal. Oh, will you now? <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> on guard! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, this is a friendly contest, not a fight to the finish. Still think you'll win the day, Don Luis? <laughs> Enough! Stop this, Captain. <laughs> Zoro. Zoro. I'm here for your contest, Captain. Zoro. You are going to wish you hadn't come here to taunt me. I hope that I'm not too late. <laughs> oh, two against one. <laughs> you are really spoiling me. <laughs> oh, good work there. You've been practicing, Captain. I see the maestro's lessons everyone is talking about have not gone entirely to waste. Missed! <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, why? Is he wearing a silk shirt too? <laughs> so, Captain, how is the water? Get off me, you fools! No, Captain, my turn. Now, this is between Zoro and the Maestro. In other words, me. That is why I'm here. To see if Zoro can out Maestro the Maestro. Well then, on guard. You are good. I'll give you that. But I am even better. Zoro! Even if that were true. Huh? Oh? I do have other skills. For example, my penmanship. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> then there are my barbering skills. Maestro, you will be so much faster without that mustache weighing you down. Hmm? No! My mustache! You're welcome. <laughs> so, my fellow Angelinos, who has won the captain's contest? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Gracias, amigos! Soldiers, apprehend that fiend! Oh, Captain, my Captain! Have I overstayed my welcome? Sergeant! Oh. The secret thrust! Huh? Whoa! Wow! Garcia, you executed that maneuver perfectly! Oh, do you really think so? Yes, it was brilliant! Hmm. Whoa! 
Adios. Adios, Zoro. See <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. What a lovely medal. Please do thank His Majesty for me. <laughs> but for now, I must be off. And you call yourself a maestro. What are you master of, huh? The art of the humiliating defeat. Oh, but I seem to recall he defeated you before mm. me. What do you mean, you pathetic second-rate <laughs> fencer? <laughs> It's too bad Diego missed the show. I think it would have been educational for him. <laughs> I can't believe Zoro faced all those formidable swordsmen on his own. I still shudder at the thought. The sentiment huh? does you credit, senorita. <gasps> Zoro! <laughs> for the honor of the De La Vegas! Viva El Zoro! <laughs> Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! <laughs> oh. uh. Ines! Carmen! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired of this carriage. Thought I'd be 80 years old before we got back to California. <laughs> so you were in Mexico City? Did you see the palace of the Viceroy? I did. Wait, you're here alone? Where's Diego? Hasn't he come back from Spain yet? Diego hasn't gotten up yet. You know him, a sleepyhead since he was born. I remember the day he made this Chumash bracelet for me. Yes, I remember that day well, too. You fell off your horse because of one of his totally ridiculous bets. <sighs> my father nearly chopped my brother to pieces. <laughs> oh, Diego. He was feisty and afraid of nothing. He hated being locked up indoors, reading books. He was so very handsome. <sighs> you know, Diego has changed a bit. Hush, not one word now. I like surprises. <laughs> Father! Diego, great news, my boy. I just saw Don Luis. His daughter Carmen is back. Carmen? How is she? You can ask her yourself. You and I will go pay them a visit. How about having your wedding after the harvest? Yes, you'll see. This one will unite our two families and be a historical moment for California. Hmm. Uh, wait, uh, I just barely got back from Spain. Isn't it a little early to talk about marriage? You don't want to get married? Fine, then. We'll start with an engagement party. You hear that, Gonzalez? Carlos has swordfish on the menu. Uh, hmm. Well, soldier, you go inspect the stables while I, uh, while I go inspect the swordfish. Uh, <laughs> but, Sergeant... Don't sergeant me! Those stables had better be perfectly clean. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Garcia? No. Oh. Good sir! Yes, Captain! Still interrogating the locals? Have you found anyone who knows where Zorro is? Uh, still haven't found anyone who knows, Captain. Well, ask everybody. Surely you'll find somebody who knows something. Oh, I know! I'll go ask all the employees and the guests at the inn. <laughs> Garcia! Garcia! <laughs> Brush hard, Sarge. These stables must be perfectly clean. <laughs> that man, take him in for questioning. I'll interrogate him. Yes, sir. What? Where are we? 
we going? The army has fallen into disgrace since I left. Ugh. Will Monasterio ever stop harassing the people in this land? Oh, how I detest that man! Hmm. Ooh, have you heard about that Zorro? <laughs> More than heard! I actually saw him the first time he showed up in public. Lucky you! Don Luis, I wasn't aware that your daughter was back among us. Senorita, you are a sight for sore eyes. <gasps> Los Angeles is most fortunate to have the two loveliest roses in all California. Uh, Captain, you're exaggerating. Not me. Not by one single syllable, my lovelies. Hmm. Uh, Captain, my daughter and I must return to our hacienda. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Villalonga won't act so cocky after I've had my say. Neither will the girl. you. What? <gasps> Are you saying I used to be ugly? No, you've never been ugly. You've always been, uh, you always, I, I mean, uh, pretty. Pretty? And here I thought you'd have learned fancier words at college. I shall have to lend you a few books. <laughs> Hello, Don Luis. Hello, my friend. Aren't they sweet together? Let's leave them alone and go make wedding plans. <laughs> I'll have to add a few rooms to the hacienda for our future grandchildren. Uh, going overboard, aren't they? Right. I wonder what put that idea in their heads. How could you... You and me? What an odd idea, right? <laughs> We're two good friends. We've known each other for so long. For too long, perhaps. California has changed since we were children. Monasterio has made life more difficult for everybody. What are you planning to do to defend us? Huh? Nothing. What? Diego de la Vega! Shame on you! It's a good thing we have Zorro. Uh, oh, no, please. Don't tell me you're one of his admirers, too. At least he's a man with courage and spunk. You still act like a little boy. That's awful. What is it? It's ugly. Threadbare, worn out. Worse, it clashes with your dress. You should get a new one. Mm. Ugh, I don't want a new one. I... Oh, you are such a bother. Just go home. <sighs> <laughs> huh? Carmen Diego. <laughs> Captain, what good wind brings you to see Don Luis? Military business, Don Diego. Really, Diego? What came over you? Don Luis is my best friend. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Father, but I was bored to tears back there. I can't wait to be in the Hacienda to read my favorite poems. Hmm. You are absolutely right. I guess I did go overboard. Oh, I guess I'm not used to staying up without a square meal. What is this important matter you wish to discuss, Captain? Don Luis, there's talk in Los Angeles that you openly criticize me. Hmm. Says who? Those poor, innocent people you randomly arrest for questioning? Surely you know that for insolence like that, I can have you arrested on the spot? However, I'm here to make a proposal. I want to marry your daughter. <gasps> Carmen? Absolutely. It would prove to everyone that you're loyal. <laughs> hmm. And would make you a rich <clears throat> landowner one day. I'm warning you, oh? Vialonga. If Carmen doesn't become mine, I'll ruin you. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be back to woo the little darling. Get out, Captain. I suggest you receive me with all the honors due to a man of my rank. Father, 
I heard you both. What will become of us? Don't worry, darling. I would never betroth my daughter to a bandit. Uniform or no uniform. Diego, have you been out in the sun too long? Why did you say such silly things to Carmen? Because Zoro can't ever get married. Look, Carmen is marvelous. I would have loved to spend all day with her today. But if I marry her, she'll find out who Zoro is. And then she'd be in danger. Ah. Uh. It's better to keep her away from me, for her safety. Huh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Diego de la Vega. <gasps> Good morning, Father. Sleep well? Good morning, Ines. If you do not go back immediately and talk to your fiancé and apologize on bended knee, I shall kick you out of the house without your poetry books. Mm. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> yes, Father, I promise. Today, Carmen will hear my guitar and my song, begging her forgiveness. <sighs> hmm. Huh? <sighs> if Ines hadn't told me you were deaf, I'd give you all kinds of messages to tell Diego. What a cad! Sending you instead of coming himself? Oh, I'd like to sink my nails into him. Thanks, Bernardo. Carmen's quite pleased. She <gasps> very much enjoyed the music. Oh. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 oh, eating the flowers. Naughty horse. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bernardo. Hey, these flowers aren't for you. They're for Senorita Carmen. Hands off, or my captain will flay us both alive! Oh, uh, I, 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 oh. Uh. Hmm. Huh? I'm sorry, Captain, hmm. but I get the feeling Senorita Carmen may not like cut flowers. Hmm. Flowers? I can't stand flowers! Uh, oh, oh, how pretty! Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for this! Garcia! Yes, sir! Yes, Captain! Gather all the men. We'll go visit Villalonga. I'm going to bring that arrogant family to heal. Huh? <laughs> Hello, Doña Ines. We work, 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 night and day, just like slaves. Oh, why do we have to arrest everyone at the Alongas? <gasps>
Let's see Don't dilly dally. Oh no, quit lollygagging. Oh, move it, move it. You can't do this. Oh. Captain's orders. We're taking everybody in. We'll be interrogating them about Zorro, and we'll take as long as we need to through harvest oh. time, if need be. Our crops would be lost. You want to ruin me? <laughs> oh. Don Luis, help us! Get out of the way. You can't do this! No. I'm with you. Don't worry, men. I'll get you out of this. <laughs> halt! Hands up! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Senorita. <laughs> Captain, what are you doing here? I've come to pay homage to the future Senora Monasterio. Oh? Where might she be? Do we have another guest in the house? You are just like your father. You people think you can get away with anything because you're high-born rancheros. But I'll put you in your rightful place. Zorro! <laughs> Captain? Oh! Senorita, forgive me for coming into your home without having been invited. But I do believe my friend the captain needs some advice and gallantry. Oh, on guard! <laughs> the key to unlocking a lady's heart is patience. <laughs> <laughs> Women like poets. Did you know that, Captain? Maybe you should try telling her about the beauty of the stars. <sighs> Maybe you should just <laughs> shut up. <gasps> Zorro! <sighs> Got you, Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a sword fight in there. Zoro! Garcia, fire! What are you waiting for? Huh? Shoot that out! Hey! Uh, not in the house. We might damage something. Oh, I'm so sorry. Captain! I'm coming! Hey! Me first! <laughs> Lancers, block all exits. Yes, sir. Sergeant? <laughs> You're welcome. God, give up, scallywag! Grab <laughs> 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 that man! You're done, Sorrow! Ha <laughs> 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 
Captain, I suppose it's time to bid you adios, but I'll always be available should you need another lesson in gallantry. Hmm. <laughs> adios! <laughs> oh. Go find him! Yes, yes sir! sir. Ah. <laughs> no sign of Zoro, Captain. He's vanished, and the Peonis have vanished too. Your friend saved your skin this time, Don Luis. Maybe he won't be there the next time. Hmm. <laughs> Back to the garrison. Move out. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir. <laughs> Senorita. Hmm. Before leaving, I wanted to be sure you're all right. Uh, I do want to thank you for your help, Senor Zorro. <laughs> oh! I shouldn't accept this, but you have risked your life for us. Please be more careful, sir. <laughs> I won't let anyone catch me. I can promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, Tornado! Fight the wind! Come in. A letter for you, Captain. Dismissed. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what? That's sorrow again. Enough already. Uh, uh. <laughs> huh? hmm. Garcia! Garcia! Whoa. Hmm. At your command, Captain. My boots. Where are my boots? Do you find something funny? Huh? Oh, no, not at all. Really, B but I, I wouldn't want you to catch a toe cold, Captain. <laughs> ah! There. I can see them. There they are. Oh! 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 Got them! Here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a foolproof trap to catch that wretched Zorro. Mm. My idea is pure genius, Garcia. Listen to this. I'm going to have a few Indians unfairly arrested. Unfairly? Yes, it means not fair. But why? Because that's the way it is, you fool. I'll keep them right here, in the garrison house. And later, I shall leave with the garrison on a long, a very long journey. <laughs> Zorro will think the coast is clear. The coast will be clear? He'll rush to rescue those Indians. Oh. And just then, I'll return with the garrison and I'll clobber him! Really? Oh! Oh. Hmm. Listen to me, Garcia. Uh, While I am gone with the troops, you will have to guard the Indians in the garrison hmm. house. And you'd better hold your tongue, or else hmm. you'll end up on boot duty forever. Oh. Yes, Captain. Do you want me to repeat that for you again? Sorry, Captain. Good morning, Captain Monasterio. Oh. Senorita de la Vega. I am honored that you accepted my invitation. I wouldn't have missed the review of the troops for anything in the world. May oh. I? Hmm. <laughs> It's so elegant, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And still, there is more to come. Ooh. Here comes the highlight of the show. Oh. 
Look at those men. Yes, take a good look at them all. Those Indians were arrested because they were trying to get out of doing forced labor. Never be an end to this. Those people are outlaws. They deserve to be treated with the utmost severity. Any challenge to the governor's authority will not go unpunished. This should be a lesson to you all. Take them away. Come now, Captain. You cannot treat them this way. And why not, may I ask? Who's going to stop me? I applaud the return of order in Los Angeles. You are too sensitive, senorita. After all, those people are only Indians. Remember that you are Don Alejandro's daughter. Be quiet! I am now going to lead the garrison to Monterey, where the governor is due to inaugurate a new palace. I shall return in 10 days or so. Are you leaving right now? I can hear something that sounds like regret in your voice. Alas, duty calls, my dear. Oh. It was a pleasure to share this moment with you. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Sergeant. Don't let me oh. down, or else. Yes, no. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Captain. You silly oaf. <laughs> oh. Ah, I think I deserve a little reward, don't I? Just do as usual. As for me, I'll just go and uh, freshen up a little. Uh, to the hacienda, quick! Ready? <laughs> go! <laughs> Diego wins this round. <laughs> <laughs> Never turn your back on your opponent. Diego! Monasterio has had some Indians arrested again. He's thrown them in jail. They'll be put on trial within the next few days. Oh, it's unfair. Oh, no. Not one all. I touched it first. <laughs> and Monasterio found out who was hiding behind Zoro's mask. So there. Huh? What did you say? It would help if you listened. Monasterio has had some Indians unfairly arrested, and he's left for Monterey with the garrison. We can't let him do that. And, um, where are they kept exactly? They're in the garrison house. You really have huh? to go and see. Yes, you're right. I'll go straight away. Are you coming with me? Yes, going to the garrison is a good idea. That way, we'll find out if a unit is going to Monterey. It would also be good to find out how many men will be left with Monasterio. Hmm. <clears throat> My dear Garcia, I just wanted to tell you how much I've appreciated your, uh, your, your intelligence, uh, your courage uh, throughout this whole business. <laughs> <laughs> I hereby appoint you <laughs> lifetime captain of this garrison. Huh? Sergeant Garcia, what have I just heard? You've been made interim captain? I believe congratulations are in order. Uh, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I, I mean... Now, no. now, no need for false modesty hmm. with me. I'm glad to see your courage finally rewarded. Oh, Don Diego, this is such an honor. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but what a shame you have to guard those awful prisoners. We could have gone out to celebrate your promotion with a good meal. Mm. But what have they done that was so wrong? Oh, sorry, Don Diego. Don't take it personally. But I cannot discuss the Indians. Captain's orders. Yeah, I understand. National interest. In that case, I'll discuss it directly with Monasterio. And by the way, when is that good man due to return? No, oh, not for another ten days. At the very least.
Come on! There's no time to waste. We still have a long way to go to get to Monterey. Seven? That's quite a lot of soldiers. I wonder what Monasterio has got up his sleeve again. This doesn't look good. Yes, you're right. I think this is a mission for Zorro. <laughs> There's no time to waste, Corporal Gonzalez. We've got to head back if we want to return to Los Angeles at the same time as Zorro. If my trap has worked as I hope it has, huh? <laughs> he's already on his way. At your command, Captain! <laughs> Tone it down! This is a secret mission. Uh, at your command, Captain. Calm down. But, Sergeant, the Indians have escaped. The Indians? Really? Oh, yes. All is well. What do you mean, all is well? <laughs> I shouldn't tell you about it, but uh, that was part of the plan. Oh. Why do you think we arrested them when they'd done nothing wrong? Huh, you idiots? Huh? But, Sergeant, we always arrest people who haven't done anything wrong. Yes, but in this case, Captain Monasterio and I had planned the whole thing. We arrest the Indians, Zorro comes along to rescue them, and then wham, bam, we get him. But, uh, Zorro already came, didn't he? Zorro came? Gah! How did we miss him? Quick, get him! Get him! <laughs> Ah, there you are, Zorro. <gasps> this time, you won't be able to escape. Ah, it's you, Captain! Everything's fine, my friends. It'll just take a moment. 
Just grab him. I want him dead or alive. <laughs> go, go. We've got nothing against you. You heard the captain. Uh, grab him. Let them go. They're just small fry. I prefer to focus on another type of game. At this point, it would seem that your time is up, Zorro. Attack! I don't want to trouble you, Captain, but I'm afraid I have other plans. <laughs> oh. yeah. Adios, Captain. I'll be back so we can have more fun together. I promise. What are you looking at, you imbeciles? Go after him! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yeah. Oh, come on! Ow! I see him! There he is! Look up there! We gotta take that down! I see him! Don't let him get away! So, are you ready to take the plunge, Caballero? <laughs> there he is! This way! Come on, we've got him! Garcia, I can see you, you imbecile! Get up, right now! <laughs> there! There he is! One. That's more than I deserve. I'm not that strong, am I? Hmm. Hmm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Left, right, left, oh. right. <laughs> uh, huh? Oh. Stop your silly trick, Zoro. Make it a fair fight. Fair? How funny. You know full well that's not at all my style, Captain. Tornado, I've forgotten something. Where is he? Huh? Ah! I'm sorry, Captain. I nearly forgot your little souvenir. What? Here? 
And one, <coughs> two. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> oh. Where's Zorro? Uh, who? Uh, who? Don't try to outsmart me, Carlos. I know he's hiding in here. But, but you've got it all wrong, Corporal. We only host honest customers. Sergeant Garcia can testify to this. <laughs> huh. oh. Hmm. Because you think this sounds honest, perhaps? Playing the guitar in the middle of the night? Ouch! Whoa! Ooh! Hmm. Ha! Ha! Don Diego! Oh! Sorry, I had no idea you were in here. Oh, I've got you, you bandit! Oh, Captain, are you back already? Where is he? He has to be here! Have you lost something, Captain? May I help you at all? I... I don't understand. What are you doing here at this time, Don Diego? Shouldn't you be at your hacienda instead? Ah, uh, tell me about it, Captain. Can you imagine that my father's business requires me to go to San Luis Obispo tomorrow morning at dawn? So I prefer to sleep in the inn so I can take the first coach. Garcia, this is all your fault. You let Zorro escape when I had entrusted you with a mission of the utmost importance. I'm going to put a price on his head. So that's the lout responsible for the racket I've been subjected to for the past few hours. Let me add 500 pesos to your reward for whoever can catch him. 500 pesos? 500 pesos? 500 meals at Carlos's? <clears throat> I wouldn't want to throw you out, but do you intend to stay while I bathe? Don Diego, I'm sorry to have interrupted your... your bath. Not at all. The pleasure is all mine. Adios, Don Diego. Drink. <sighs> sorry, Captain. You know what you've got to look forward to, Garcia. Boot duty forever. <laughs> yes, Captain. Oh. <laughs> to Monterey, to the Governor's Ball. We can't leave yet, Ines. Diego went to see your grandmother, and I'm busy handling ranch business. Be patient, my daughter. Father, I'm all grown up now, and there's a ball. <laughs> Come on, Bernardo, dance with me. <laughs> Would a certain Senorita de la Vega like to finish her fitting? Otherwise, you won't be able to leave until next year. <laughs> coming! Coming, Doña Maria! Don't worry. <sighs> hmm? Hello. Who are you talking to? Me? To my mother. And you? To my grandpa. I miss him. I liked him a lot. Are you from our tribe? My mother was. She was a Chumash, like you. And why isn't your mom with you? It was a long time ago. Pirates attacked our house. My mother saved us from the pirates, but the Great Spirit took her away. My daddy left this morning. He was taken away by the soldiers. What? They had lots of horses and lots of guns. You want me to show you? Mm -hmm. huh? Look! That's my dad! Hey, you! You're not on vacation! Get that boulder out of the way! Hurry up! Push! Push! <laughs> <laughs> what strength, Corporal. Zorro had better watch out. What on earth are you doing here, Don Diego? I was about to ask you the same thing, Corporal. 
Yeah, a road work, Don Diego, ordered by the governor. Ah, and I suppose these men volunteered to help you with this road work? We didn't ask them for their opinion. Captain Monasterio ordered it. Ah, and that whip? Ah, this was my little idea. They work faster when they see it. <gasps> Very clever there. But what if someone thought it was outrageous? He would have to speak to my superiors. What a great idea. Thanks for the advice, Corporal. So long. <laughs> you see, I'm still kicking. A few more springtimes, and I'll be older than that mountain. <laughs> Alas, you've come back to us during times of trouble. I've seen. The soldiers are marching Chumash men into forced labor. What will you do? You know, we certainly aren't warriors. I've made peace in the past and never want to see war again. But these soldiers took our men away this morning. The only ones left are women, children, and us hunched over elders. If they take any more men, I'll have to go fishing at my age. They're cutting a new road on that mountainside. I saw them. But what for? There's nothing on that mountain. The spirits have told me these soldiers will bring great evil to the mountain. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll go to Monterey and talk to the governor. He'll order them to stop. See, Governor Don Parasol likes his luxury. Meanwhile, our poor people lack the basics, like food. I'll take care of the governor, Ines. I'll make Monasterio tell me everything he knows about this road. Excellency, allow me to introduce myself. I am Don Diego de la Vega. Don Diego! I've heard so much about you. You know that I was appointed to this post during your stay in Spain. I've heard many say you're a young caballero with great promise. Oh, Don Parasol, they're being too nice. <laughs> well then, my dear Diego, how do you like being back in California? Ah, uh, well, I must say a lot has changed in California. Before I went to Spain, nobody would ever have marched the poor Chumash into forced labor for the crown. <clears throat> what is this you say? I'm not aware of... Come now. Road work? Through the Chumash Mountains? I'm not aware of the project. You know I do not concern myself with boring matters involving Indians. You are not aware of any of this? There's surely a good reason for employing these... these... Uh, chupa... Chumash. Oh, and their names are so complicated. You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Senorita. What a pleasure to see you. Dare I ask you to grant me this dance? <laughs> I'd love to, Captain. <gasps> <gasps> I have heard you are overseeing roadwork in the mountains. 
Nothing can grow on those rocky slopes. Oh, you have? Uh, yes, uh, I have a number of projects going. Locally. But I cannot discuss them. Not even with a pretty senorita oh. like you. Oh, you can tell me anything, Captain. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> You're awfully curious, mm. sweet Ines. I have to tell you, though, pretty soon. The woman I marry will be rich. Very rich. Excuse me, Captain. Do you mean you'll become rich? <laughs> you don't think I'm planning on spending my life in the military, do you? A man of my standing? I'd make an excellent ranchero. But first, I need land. And a wife. <laughs> oh! 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 You stepped on my toes, Captain! Oh, oh, oh ah, forgive me. I'm terribly sorry, senorita. If you'll excuse me, I'll go join my father. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Son, my dear friend Bernardo, starving and exhausted. Oh, I almost forgot you can't hear or talk, so I guess you won't go babbling a secret, eh? That blasted mine up in the mountains, it's no kind of work for soldiers, no! Hmm. Ah, poor Chumash. I don't like this, Bernardo. Ah, it does me good to talk to you, even if you can't understand! <laughs> I needed to get it off my chest. Sergeant Garcia. Uh, yes, Captain. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Prepare to return to Los Angeles. Uh, a mine? So that's why Monasterio thinks he's going to be rich. But what kind of mine? What's really odd is that Don Parasol didn't seem to be aware. So the captain wants to keep it all for himself. That's just wrong. Who thinks this is a call for Zorro? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what an exhausting trip. <sighs> I think I need to take a nap. You should do the same, children. We promise, Father. <sighs> Everyone knows what to do? Let's go, then. Yeah! <laughs> Come on. This grotto is a secret that my mother handed down to me. Aside from you and Ines, nobody knows about it. So I've decided to put my best friend down here. <laughs> I captured this purebreed myself. And I had an Indian hermit take care of him before we left for Spain. So nobody will ever connect his horse to us. He's the best horse in the world. See you outside later. Men. No dawdling now. You aren't with Sergeant Garcia. Sir, yes, sir, sir. <laughs> Senorita Ines, uh, is that you? Uh, have you had an accident? Oh, Captain, I think I've broken a wheel. <laughs> My men will fix that for you in a jiffy. You there, get to work, hurry up. Yes, yes sir. sir. No, oh, 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 idiots. <laughs> oh, it's so hot out today. My throat is parched. Uh, you. Yes, Captain, I'm fixing the wheel. First, go get some water for the pretty senorita, you fool! They have no manners. Yes, sir! Oh, 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 oh. 
Am I the one who always has to do all the work? Hmm. <sighs> Not funny, Corporal. Uh, what are you talking about, sir? You know what I mean. Stop throwing pebbles at me. Wait! Oh. You're the one who threw pebbles at me! Mm. Oh! Aha! It's you, clumsy Chumash! <laughs> You'll pay for that! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> How does the whip feel to you now, Corporal? Z -Z Zorro! 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 <laughs> Lancers! Seize that man! You go right! And the others! Yes, sir. Uh, go left! Well then, uh, no, no, no! I mean, go left with the others! Not that left! The other kind of left! I, I mean, go right! <laughs> Perhaps there's an easier way up, Sergeant. Huh? <laughs> Why don't you come up yourself, Sergeant? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Hey, stay where you are! Oh, who cares? I can't handle everything. Zorro! Yeah. Look out! I'm going to capture you, you scallywag! <laughs> and I'll get promoted! Huh? Corporal Gonzalez, I am your sergeant, and I will be the one who captures Zorro. Is that clear? <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't stay much longer. It's raining rocks. Wait, I don't see any clouds. Finally be done fixing that wheel. Now, don't get upset, huh? Captain. I'm doing quite fine, thanks to you. <laughs> Faster, soldier! All done now. Finished, Captain. It's about time. My dear Ines, I'm sorry I can't escort you back to your hacienda, but duty calls. Thank you, Captain. Yeah. <sighs> I hope my broken wheel delayed them long enough. Will you do something, Corporal? If the mine gets sealed off, the blame will fall on us! That's huh? not all that will fall on you. Catch him! Gentlemen, <laughs> when did he do that? Oh, 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 oh. He's here, 
We'll have the last laugh. Bring it out. Ah. Zoro! <laughs> Monasterio, you're rather late. <laughs> Dismount! Seize that man! Yes, yes sir! Yes, sir! Get your weapon! <laughs> Captain, come on, now don't be shy. Surrender, scallywag! No, that's cheating. It's, it's going to blow any second now, Captain! <laughs> On the bright side. Hmm. At least we're rid of Zorro. He was inside. <laughs> but still, flattened like a tortilla under all those rocks. Poor, poor Zorro. Hmm. Looks like silver, right? That's what Monasteria was after in the mountain. Captain Monasteria! Zoro! Oh, huh? He's alive! You wanted to open this silver mine without informing the governor? Now, now. That goes against the rules, doesn't it? Well, that's over and forgotten. History! We wouldn't huh? want Parasol to find out. Adios! <laughs> this is all your fault, you ninny! Yes, it's all your fault, you ninny! Uh, uh, but you, you were mm. incredible, Captain! <laughs> Sorry, my friend, but the pretty lady is mine! Ah! Hey! I'm sorry, but Senorita Naranja has oh. just told me she'd rather be eaten by me. <laughs> Again? Come on. You'll just get yourself hurt. Country. Yes, Bernardo, five years. Five long years since we left for Spain. 
It seems so long ago. Quick, let's gather our belongings. I look forward to seeing Ines again. Her letter has worried me. Something terrible seems to be happening in California. All those innocent arrested, good people ruined. She mentions the new Viceroy as a useless and greedy profiteer. And she seems to hate that Los Angeles captain. Oh, yes, I would love to fight. But it would be one against a hundred, and we'd only end up in prison, or worse. And by the way, apart from that Gala sword, I should not be seen with all these fancy swords. Huh? Bernardo, from now on, I must appear as a useless fencer. I no longer like weapons. I'm all about books. And as for you, you will pretend to be deaf. You'll see. People will talk in front of you, and we shall learn many interesting things, I'm sure. These are nothing more than big golden bowls. Today, we are facing a new challenge. <laughs> Those are just two pesos apiece. Ines! <laughs> Father! Diego! <laughs> <laughs> You're taller than me! <laughs> and you, little sister, have turned into a real beauty! Oh, wow. <laughs> Diego! Father, such a pleasure to see you again. So, what have you learned at the Royal Academy for the past five years? Your heads are fuller than when you left, I hope. Father, I've got some bad news. During the last of the King's celebrations, Bernardo stood a little bit too close to a cannon, and since then, he's been deaf. Oh, what a horrible story! Oh, Bernardo! Poor Bernardo! Oh, what a stroke of bad luck. But I am glad that you are back home now. You'll see. We'll adapt to you. Huh? Oh, uh, careful! Huh? Uh, sorry. You incompetent fool! Watch where you're going! Hurry up, you over there! Go on! Sergeant Garcia! Oh. Yes, Captain. <laughs> this bunch of good-for-nothings is asleep! What are you waiting for? Wake them up! Do you want this to last until tomorrow? That'll teach you to rebel against the taxes. Uh, you heard the Captain. Back to work. Go on, quick! Quick! Uh, uh, quick! Oh. 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 Calm down! Be nice! Oh. <laughs> Help! I, I can't swim! Uh. <laughs> oh. Garcia! You idiot! Don Alejandro. Senorita, what a wonderful surprise to see you here. <laughs> Diego, my son, this is Captain Monasterio from the Los Angeles garrison. And this is Bernardo Velasquez, Captain, the son of hmm. my former estate steward. Yeah, we are back from Barcelona where we studied. Indeed. You two want to change the world like every other student? Me? No, I'm not into politics. But if you want to talk about poetry mm. or philosophy, I'm your man. Uh, forgive my friend, he is mm. deaf. He understands sign language, but nothing else. I don't have time for such idiotic rubbish. <laughs> my medals! Mm. Hey! <laughs> 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 I must take leave now. Sadly, my duty as a soldier is about to deprive you of my presence once again, Senorita Ines. <laughs> that was funny, Bernardo. <laughs> hmm. Rally round to Los Angeles and at the double. Oh, uh, yes, Captain. Uh, right away, Captain. Oh. What? You're not happy? You should have paid your taxes then. Uh, let's go, everybody. Hmm. Oh, my poor back. 
When will there be a harbor in Los Angeles? These four days of traveling have been the death of me. Oh, Diego, would you have preferred to walk home and sleep under the stars like those unfortunate peones? Oh, Diego, please. Ah, when we were little, we used to love sleeping outside, didn't we? But what are you saying? That Monasterio is a brute who abuses the peasants and dominates the whole region. I know. I could talk with the captain about an excellent book I read about power, The Prince by Machiavelli. Diego, actions are louder than words. Come on, didn't the two of you get my letter? Uh, yes, I did, but I don't like conflicts. It's just too boring. <gasps> I've got it. We have to invite Captain Monasterio to the Hacienda and explain to him that violence has never solved anything. I'm sure he'll understand and free the peonis. Stop, please! In the name of Viceroy Don Esteban Parasol, the representative of His Majesty in California, anyone who has not paid their taxes is sentenced to jail. Until their families have paid their debts. Sergeant Garcia, now. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Captain. Captain. Do you still believe we just need to ask the captain nicely? Mm. Captain, these new taxes are unfair and insane. That's right. Who among these modest people can afford them? Show some mercy. Please, free these good people. It's not right. Don Alejandro de la Vega, the taxes have been set by the Viceroy in Monterey, and everyone has to pay. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Well, the Viceroy is wrong, then. Don Parasol has been entrusted by your king. We all have a duty of obedience to him. Even you don't forget it. Uh, yes, don't forget it. Uh, Father, the captain is right. It may be better not to annoy the Viceroy. <laughs> On the contrary, I shall return tonight back to Monterey to tell Don Parasol how I feel about all this. <laughs> Diego, stop. What? <gasps> Home at last. So good to be home again. Don Diego, welcome home. Thank you, my friend. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, por Dios! Mmm, <laughs> Maria, this has to be the best sopita in the world. Uh, sorry, Doña Maria. <laughs> for our dinner. If I let you, there would be nothing left. Shoo, shoo, <laughs> get out of my kitchen, you bunch of thieves. Oh, God! <laughs> you must come to the jail with me. Let's at least bring those unfortunate peonies a good dinner. <sighs> I'd love to, but I am too exhausted for my travels. Tomorrow. All right. How can you be so selfish? Come on, get up! I do not like this at all, Ines. Do not provoke those soldiers. Maria, I can't just stand here and do nothing when innocents are suffering under this evil captain's boots. Corporal Gonzalez. Yes, Sergeant? Uh, go and watch the prisoners. I have to go out. No, I watched them all afternoon. It's your turn, Whoa. Sergeant. Yes, but I am your superior, and I say you must watch them again, because I have to go and think about 
we do if uh, hmm. there was a mutiny? Huh? Because they've not been given any food or water. And where are you oh, going? To the inn, of course. Uh, to ask for tomorrow's menu. <laughs> so there. Sergeant Garcia! Uh, yes, Captain? Why are the prisoners sleeping on bales of hay? This is not a hotel. You have five minutes to take these bales out of the cells and give them to the horses. Oh, no. Good afternoon, Captain. I am certain that these prisoners must be a burden for the army, so I brought you food to feed them. Please, please, water. I am very sorry, Senorita de la Vega. The prisoners have already had their dinner, and they do not want anything else. Please! Oh. Hey! Arrest him, and put him in jail with the others. That'll teach him. Oh, hmm. I mean, right! <gasps> Hands off, soldier! Let go of him! I forbid you to take him! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a ball. Senores, may I please join your party? What does that mean? Who are you? My name is Zorro, and I'm here to bring justice back to Los Angeles. The town obviously needs it. And for a start, I'm going to free your prisoners. What? Hmm. Throw this buffoon in jail at once. <laughs> yeah. oh. You know what they say, the more the merrier. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. Garcia. <sighs> Lancers, grab your weapons. We're under attack. Hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> there, he's there. Yeah, catch him. Go, go. Ow. Ow. Thank you. <laughs> My keys. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the wasps! Catch him! Come on! Yoo-hoo! You punch of bumbling idiots! You are useless! The shame of the army! I'm over here! Huh? Whoa. <laughs> huh? No, not here. There. Listen, I'm trying to help you out. If you don't make an effort, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you fools! Give me that! Oh, see him! Let go, man! Let go! No! Oh. Yes, sir, oh. Captain! <laughs> Run away, hurry, quick! Hurry. Go and hide in the hills and take the food with you! Thank you! Oh. Senores, do you really want me to fight against all of you with just this simple whip? Oh. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> Stayed to watch the cells? Garcia? Gonzalez? Huh? This will cost hmm. you your huh? Pay. Not again. <laughs> All right, I surrender. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Look at that, Gonzalez. Oh! <laughs> He's very good. Uh, stay behind me, Corporal. <laughs> 
captain! Hey, look here! I have captured Zoro! I'm your sergeant! And I'm the one who led to this arrest! Mm, are you quite sure, senores? Because I don't see any handcuffs around these hands. Arrest him! Take the horses! Quick! Ha-ha! You're weakening, you scoundrel! You have found your master! Yeah, remember my name! Garcia! Sergeant Garcia! My sword! <laughs> no! Go! Oh, 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 no! Please! <laughs> this one is for you, Sergeant! Captain Zoro! Move away! Make way! <laughs> Quick, Tornado! Get Blasted Zoro! We shall meet again! <laughs> Goodbye, Captain! <laughs> Where did that man come from? It all happened so fast! and the captain almost arrested Bernardo. And then a man arrived. He had a mask on. He said his name was Zorro. He fought all alone against... Diego, wake up! Oh, he's hopeless. <sighs> hmm. oh. Diego never used to be that way before he went to Spain. He's turned into a lazy good-for-nothing. Oh, what a shame. I don't recognize him at all. I wrote to ask him to come and help us, but all he does is sleep all day. Oh, I feel like sending him back on a ship. It's really too bad. Oh, but look at me. All I do is talk, 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 and you can't even hear. Oh, Bernardo, what's going to happen to us? Oh! Oh! Zoro! Uh, do not take another step, senor! or you may well end up with a headache tomorrow. I won't hesitate to break this vase over your head. Who are you? And what are you doing in our house? I don't recall inviting you in. And by the way, how do you even know about this passageway? Oh, Diego? The greatest good for nothing to have ever returned from Spain, in person. At your service, my dear sister. <laughs> what? So from the beginning, you've been making fun of me? Yeah. You were just acting a part? What about you, Bernardo? Are you really deaf or... Oh! I don't know which one of you I'm gonna knock huh? out first! Oh, what? <laughs> hey, Ines! Ines, listen! I can explain! <laughs> <laughs> Bernardo, at last you are home. Come here. <laughs> Hang on, sis. You're going to smother us. And now's not the time. I need a nap. 